Just as explorers have always sought to map new worlds, neuroscientists have sought to map the brain, trying to chronicle its connections and deduce how it works. But making a brain map is easier said than done. You can pick a particular property of the brain to base your map on, like its structure, or its connections, or cell types. Here's one early attempt, published in 1909 by Corbinian Brodman. He noted how the cells look different from one parcel of brain to the next, and his maps are still used today. But depending on the property you look at, your maps can end up quite different. So neuroscientists can't even agree on how many areas there are, let alone what they all do. But now a team has made what could be the most accurate map yet. It's based on hundreds of brains and lots of different properties of those brains. It's even defined a whole bunch of new brain areas. Like this one, Area 55B, which the team thinks has a role in language. It's pretty obvious here in a map of language-related brain activity. And again here, when they look at the connections between this area and others. Not so clear here, though, on a map of how much insulation there is around neurons. That's why combining all these data sources is so important. It might even mean neuroscientists can finally figure out what the brain's borders and territories really look like. Explore the new map and plug in your own brain data at humanconnectome.org.